morning, good morning. Welcome into my channel. I have finally unloaded. And a half mile. Keep to the left on US 50 yeah. West US 29 Arlington Boulevard, Fleet Highway. And now we're going to go try and hunt uh, a truck stop again. Yeah. I got to go back probably an hour and 15 minutes in order to find a truck stop. Or that's the same truck stop that I was at Keep last night. Keep to the left night. on US 50 West US 29 Arlington Boulevard, the highway. I don't know where the GPS wants me to go, but I sort of know where I came from yesterday, so... <laughs> or this morning, I meant to say. I didn't come down here yesterday, I came down here this morning. But, yeah. That was in 6 o'clock. Six hours I spent up here. Trying to get unloaded. And I talked to dispatch this morning, or I don't know, maybe two hours ago. And they still didn't have anything for me yet. But we'll see. We'll see. Because I have this heater trailer, it's an older trailer. Uh, a lot of customers don't want an older trailer like this, so I don't know. If they can't find anything here shortly, they might. I don't know for sure, but this road for 11 miles. they might very well be sending me back empty to Toronto. That's a very good possibility. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Yeah, we got a few miles and then we will be back in Maryland. Yeah, I went through there this morning, but it was dark, so I didn't do any filming, but... Here we are. Construction ahead. We are in Falls Crush, Virginia. I said to uh, Larry the other day that yesterday that I was going to Washington, but Washington is actually on the uh, Maryland side. So I guess I told him the wrong place I was going to. So I apologize for that. But anyways, here we are. It's pretty windy out here today. I haven't looked exactly how windy it was, but I know when I was outside there on the construction site, it was blowing pretty good, so... Well, whatever. We'll go to our uh, truck stop and then hopefully we'll have an answer soon on what we're going to be doing because I started really early this morning, so... Uh, I can't really be fooling around here if they don't send me something soon. Uh, my 14 hour clock is getting closer, you know. I mean, I, I started, uh, well, what did I start? At 3.15, I went on duty this morning. So, that means uh, till 5.15 Central Standard Time, I have to be off duty. Yeah. But, anyways, we'll see what kind of day we will have, right? I just figured I would get this sign on to my camera. There to the right. That's a beautiful sign. I haven't seen that sign very many times. I I don't go through Maryland very often, so it's always a treat when I come up here, but I figure that's gonna be on camera for sure. Wow, have a look at that beautiful view. I'm way up here. I don't know how much the camera is picking up, but way down there is like a city down there, you know? starting to go down now it's a nice beautiful sunshine day today sunny day today it's not cold at all probably right around 32 Fahrenheit like around zero degrees it's a gorgeous day to be driving although it's crazy windy but have a look at this beautiful crossover they got up here yeah Looks like they cut through the mountain up here, so that's a little easier for us to uh, drive through here. But these are beautiful, beautiful sceneries up here. That's for sure. We are on uh, I-70 westbound. I just passed through the tunnel that I showed you yesterday. Yeah. We are going back the same direction that I came, at least for car part of the, the road. I'm going the same road. I 
they got me a reload I'm going to go to Ohio they are close by Cleveland Ohio I pick up a load uh, over there tomorrow morning and uh, that load is going to Napanee Ontario so we'll be heading to uh, Napanee Ontario they actually wanted me to pick it up today but unfortunately my 14 hour clock is gonna run up here soon so I couldn't do that I have to go off duty at uh, 5.15 because I started this morning at 3.15 so I can't be on duty very much longer I got exactly two hours before I got to go off duty so uh, yeah but that's all right we'll go stop up there I processed uh, two movies this morning while I was uh, sitting there and waiting to get unloaded so uh, I have two movies ready that I can start uploading again for you guys so I'm gonna go try and go to a place where I get internet and then uh, we'll be working on the upload and see how far we can go with that and then tomorrow morning we'll head over to our reload place and uh, get a reload on and make some miles I guess yeah uh, today is a much better day for driving up here than it was yesterday yesterday was snowing all day long I was so sick and tired of that snow by the end of the day like I, I didn't want any of it anymore so today at least it's uh, sunny it's a little windy I, I'm okay with the wind. As long as it's not snowing, I'm okay. Anyways, we'll keep on rolling.
is officially ended. Just had me a good bite to eat up here at the TA on 680 in Ohio. That's basically just, well actually it's just off of the I-80. I came up the uh, 680 to 80 and just a mile down the road on I-80. I that's where this TA truck stop is. But anyways, I have had a very long day today. I had, uh, had a load up there for a place up there in uh, Re Virginia. And uh, it took them extremely long to get me unloaded. They wanted me to be there at 6 a.m. So I did get there at 6 a.m. Quarter to 6 I got there. And it took them till 12 o'clock when I finally left the yard. So uh, I was there for like six and a quarter hours. So I didn't do much driving today. But I pretty much had to get up really early in the morning to get there. Because uh, the uh, truck stop that I was staying at was the closest truck stop I could get to which was about an hour and 15 minutes before <laughs> before the place where I, I could deliver my load to so yeah so that made it for a tough day for me first of all get up real early go over there try and find it it's dark which wasn't hard to find actually, believe it or not. I found it real easy. But uh, yeah, then getting there and then waiting and waiting and waiting. But we made it through. We got ourselves a reload. But because it took so long to get me unloaded, I couldn't get to my reload today on time. But dispatch talked to the customer. And they are okay with it if I come there tomorrow and pick up the load. So we will be doing that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to cut this for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And if you did, give me the thumbs up. Hit that share button down there below and share it with your friends and family. Because if you liked it, probably somebody else liked it too, right? Or would like it too. So, with that, have a good night, good day, whatever it is for you. And I am done. Bye. Bye. <laughs>